When she went into labor, he drove her to the hospital. A big maternity ward was provided. Waiting was their only option. After a few hours, he saw his gorgeous babies. He understood the children weren't his immediately. As Presbyterian missionaries, Aaron and Rachel began dating. They married. Both wanted children, but Aaron was infertile and couldn't give his wife what she wanted most. Rachel doubted adoption. She prayed for a miracle to have children. A few months later, the couple adopted two beautiful babies. The children felt like theirs after she and her husband adopted them. Rachel felt she needed to have one more child. Aaron and Rachel sought help from the city's top doctors, but all said the same thing. They couldn't have kids. Her hometown friends advised Rachel. Rachel suddenly told Aaron something. She wasn't sure how he'd take the news. Pregnant Rachel. She was pregnant but didn't know how. The news left Aaron speechless. He couldn't wait for his third child. After a checkup, the doctor surprised him. Rachel was pregnant after artificial insemination. Aaron and Rachel chose ethnic minority embryos because they are rare. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Rachel wanted two embryos inseminated to increase her fertility. She was pregnant with two children. They had no idea. Rachel requested a hospital ride after nine months. The hospital staff was professional, and labor went well. The doctors noted Aaron's surprise at seeing his babies. They were unexpected. For baby and mother safety, doctors performed a C-section. They gasped at something immediately. That was unprecedented. Aaron and Rachel panicked when the doctors looked worried. Were their babies harmed? Why? Aaron asked. Are the babies okay? The doctor's words left him speechless. Triplets. Nope. This wasn't planned. Since they were expecting twins, they only chose two names. They needed another name. But how had this even happened? After all, Rachel had only been implanted with two embryos. The doctors explained that one of the embryos had split again, making triplets. Aaron burst into tears while holding the babies in his arms. He couldn't believe how beautiful they were. This young family had more surprises. Rachel had Riley, Anne, and Whitley in 2016. Triplets were better than expected. Rachel and Aaron were overjoyed when their babies arrived. Sadly, their happiness was short-lived. They were proud parents despite their children's ethnicity and DNA. We think we're living our dream. A dream that may not look like the average family, but one that we are thankful could come true in light of our country's history, Aaron said. Did their parents help? The beauty of a multi-ethnic family is that our differences make us richer and fuller. It makes you rethink how you think, speak, act, and live, he said. Being the only white face sitting and chatting with some of my African-American friends as my son gets his hair cut on a Saturday morning is beautiful and inspirational. Their family's opinions. Aaron added, it's been heartening to see virtually all of our friends and family express overwhelming support for our family and the unusual ways we've built it. The new parents soon discovered that not everyone was as supportive as their family and friends. Some thought white couples shouldn't have multi-ethnic children. Aaron said a black mother shook her head at us. An elderly white woman scowled at us. Aaron and Rachel didn't care what others thought of their beautiful family. Aaron told Washington Post, there will always be the older white woman in Walmart who stared at us with sheer disgust or the African-American mother who looked at us and just shook her head. However, they had positive experiences. The young parents knew their choice would divide opinion. Rachel and Aaron know not everyone likes diversity. They disregard their opinions. Aaron said that God, through his son, is calling people from every tongue, tribe, and nation. Grasping diversity will make the world stronger as we marvel at God's creative genius on display through his people's varying pigments, personalities, and proficiencies, he added. Celebrate our differences, not scorn them. 
They also discussed embryo adoption. Rachel and Aaron value child adoption as much as embryo adoption. They found millions of embryos worldwide waiting for parents. Rachel's embryos were frozen 12 years. We were not saying that those lives are any more important than the lives of the babies and children waiting to be adopted all across the world, Rachel said. Neither more nor less important. Our children's lives matter. They were happy with their embryo adoption, but it was difficult. Donor families find embryo adoption difficult. I know donating your frozen embryos for adoption is probably the hardest decision you'll ever make, Rachel said. It's painful to know someone else is raising your biological children. However, the couple said it was ideal for them. Rachel described the experience as beautiful and unique. She wanted for children, but not so soon. How does she manage five kids? Rachel described her days as feeding five hungry kids, changing lots of diapers, doing household chores, and shepherding little hearts. Loving on and playing with all five, learning how to do the hair of four beautiful girls and one handsome little guy, and finding a minute or two to eat myself. Everyone wants to know one more thing. Will Rachel and Aaron adopt more children? We'll see. We're enjoying this phase of life, Rachel said. Five kids keep them busy. How's the family today? After having triplets, the family moved to Tegucigalpa. They help the poor in the capital. Rachel is a full-time mom even though Rachel and Aaron say they share parenting duties. The couple is thanked worldwide for giving these children a loving family. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.